He saw the invisible. And that changed his life. Moses was called. We are also called. But have you seen the invisible one? We have the Holy Ghost. But does the Holy Ghost have you? So Many times say we have the Holy Spirit. We speak in tongues. But that is not enough. See, because Ezekiel said, Revelation he saw, and water was coming from the altar. Then he began watching and measuring. The water rise to the ankle deep. Now, when your anointing is ankle deep, when your Holy Spirit is ankle deep, you can even play soccer. Eh? So no baya be do ni nankroma na chese se unwo sra no e ti se de ba be do nankroma wo be tu atumri kakra wo you see that they make a lot of noise cha 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 he wo mo se wo ye de de bebre cha 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 but they don't kill any demonic fly as we come she then the water began rising and in so no sha se se e basro to the new e baya be do now when the water rises to your new e ba be do kotoje no you walk like this. The noise subsides. But when the water rises to the waist, and you don't know how to swim, what you fear is the water. Here. You become so afraid of nothing but the water. This is what we call the fear of God. This person fears nothing but the water. Because if he, if, if he, if he jokes, he is going to be drowned. So he fears the water. This time he drags the whole body. But if the water continues to well up, then the water will overcome him. So now the water takes him. And the Bible says, wherever the water will take him, there will be life. There will be life. There will be life. The man is dead in the water. And the water has the whole of him. And wherever the water takes him, there will be life. You have the Holy Spirit. But does the Holy Spirit have you? You want to see in the invisible. Shall we rise and lift up our hands? Oh Lord, open my eyes.
I saw this thickness fighting with this unbeliever sister. She has the Holy Spirit. But does she fear God? Does the Holy Spirit really have her? So Which level are you? It's not enough to be a minister. If you are supposed to prepare people and send them out, then what kind of man or woman ought you to be? Shall we have our seats, please? We are raising men with a certain kind of mind. John Wesley. Now let's, let's, let's look at what he said some years back. And you understand why he is John Wesley. Lord, I am no longer my own, but yours. Lord, I am no longer my own but yours. Put me to what you will. Rank me with whom you will. Let be employed by you or lay aside by you. Exalted for you or brought low by you. Let me have all things. Let me have nothing. I freely and heartily yield all things to your pleasure and disposal. And now, oh glorious and blessed God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, you are mine. And I'm yours, so be it. And the affair and your name, you know, you're uncle Paul, a jar or bar, and you won't me. Oh, dear, now also, oh, yeah, media, da, amen. You are mine, me, oh, dear, and I'm yours. Now, also, oh, yeah, media, so be it. And the end, you're da. That is why you was John Wesley. Winty, and we John Wesley. Certain kind of a mind, a junior or the name. Probably he saw the invisible. 